Hello gamers and welcome to this black screen. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. It is raining, men. Very original joke. Hello, Wakeline5. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're playing everyone. You know, it's pretty obvious. I said it last time. Um, and we're gonna start with the Soviet Airborne deck. I'm bad at Airborne decks. I very rarely play them and I don't like playing them and I don't like playing versus them. And we're gonna start with Soviet Airborne, which is, if I had to guess, the second strongest Airborne deck, the strongest probably Red 4 Airborne, but given that you get 15 activation ag additional activation points, it is probably easier to build while still being quite strong for an Airborne deck. I would honestly not really recommend playing Airborne outside of ranked. You know, 10 versus sense or bigger team games probably work too. But outside of that, especially like if, if you're playing a 1 versus 1 and your opponent, know, like, you know, unranked, and your opponent knows you're playing Airborne, good luck. Especially if they um, can adjust their deck, but even if they can't, if they know they're playing against Airborne already, it's just so much easier. But Soviet and Red for Airborne specifically have the advantage of having a quite strong ground game as well. And that definitely helps. Now, despite being an Airborne deck, we don't really want a helicopter-based supply. For one, we need three cards of CVs, because otherwise, unless we use the USC, we don't get above seven CVs, and that's not a lot. And trucks are so much more valuable than helicopters, so tough luck. All right, we got a full infantry tab with nine cards. And the very, very good thing is here, uh, the BTRDs. And BMDs, for that matter. We probably want all six, card of, six cards of VDV, or at least five. Um, I think at least one card of Elite Base VDV is really nice for spamming-ish. Uh, VDV 19 is crash, that's amazing. What else do we get in the BMDs? Or oh, just the VDV. Okay, we probably want some beam, one card of BMD 3s. Do we want them with a more expensive BDV 90? Or do we want our BDV 90 in the MTV? We want some MTVs, of course. But I think having like a VDV 90 squad available in them would be really good too. It's, it's, we're gonna start very rough and then we're gonna get into more detailed building later. BMD 3 is very good. Um, five points only for a Congress M and a much better auto cannon. Right, you get 5% more accuracy, double the stabilizer, you get medium optics, you lose some speed, but 70 kmh is still plenty, and conquer them. 5 points, that's a very good deal. Uh, but I think a card of BMD1s might still be good for just to have some... something slightly armored with some reasonable firepower, but we still might get rid of that. Bornos, also very good to have, that's a wrong helicopter. Always use the MTV, it's so so easily worth the price over the MIT and MITV. And, you know, when it comes to Eastern Log, of course, the MS-17, it is just a must-have, honestly. Like, not a must-have, but an auto-pick over that. It's... Um, for one, the rockets are so much better. These S5 rockets are honestly really horrible because they're so inaccurate, have such little special damage. In fact, they're actually kind of balanced when it comes to rocket pods, and the majority of other rocket pods are just broken. Um... And of course, and that is not to be underestimated, the one armor. Uh, it doesn't do anything against like actual AA, but we've seen it in uh, the last video, the last stream, uh, on Headed in a Very Small Place, just how quickly infantry, like with their guns, melt, like especially elite infantry, just melt at M8, M8Ts, right? And MTVs with that one front and side armor are a lot more resilient to that. What's up, Moist Leopard? Um, Ikla and Scratch are a very nice combination. Going for the Ikla instead of Ikla in because of availability. Um, and honestly, the 1 HE shouldn't really matter that much, especially when you pair it with a Scratch at. Of course, every now and then it can come back to bite you in the ass, uh, but accuracy and range are still the same, which are more important. Card of Spetsnaz might not be too bad. It's niche, but it has its purposes. So here, we s <laughs> infantry tab is actually too small. Nine slots are not enough. And it happens to me all the time when I'm playing mech or modo or any infantry heavy decks. I end up needing even more infantry slots than I, than I would in an unspec deck. Um, you want some, you can be up with it. Gornos kind of a must have. VDV, of course, as well. I think these three cards are necessary too. We could get rid of this, but I'm not sure if I want to. BMD1 might not really be necessary. Um, we probably want some Conquerors M. 
Honestly, Robot might not be too bad. Gives it an, another additional ATGM carrier. I would really like another ATGM card, though. We could get rid of Spetsnaz. But it's it's nice. Even if they're not very good, like in most scenarios, just some, every now and then you, you come to a situation where it would be really nice to have some. Separate round, really a good pick here because you don't get a BTRT, of course. Let's come back to that later. I gotta reorganize this anyway. Not a lot of choices here. Um, Mortar is always good to have. I think I'm going, going to go for this one. Trella. And we don't need Urals. We have plenty of Scratchets. So let's just get this for some wheel AA. The BM21, it did get buffed, but I probably can fit it in with six activation points, but let's wait. That's a pretty good tank. That's one advantage that Soviet Airborne has over Red Airborne. While you don't get a Jared here, which I think you get in Red Airborne, BMP685 is actually pretty decent. Five armor, very good accuracy, 10 RPM, um, medium optics, 70 km age. Pretty good versus like IVs and such. The five armor really helps versus auto cannons. Of, co of course, you're going to struggle a lot versus actual tanks, but that's not really its role. That's one. I'm a 24k or K52. I'm gonna go for the 24k for now. Spetsnaz grew. They're gonna be um, for one our ground forces, or one of our ground forces, our wheeled ground forces, in the Euro. Let's get another Svetka for, the M for another M8 MTV and BRDM3 for some wheeled action. BMFs could be fun, but given that we don't have any like actual artillery other than potentially grads, long range, indirect fire, not very useful, and that really uh, nullifies one of their purposes, uh, you know. We could have actually a pretty nice as well. Jalo is of course always nice to see. CPTUs are nice to see. Honestly, never really sure which one I want. CPTU 4 does have a very significant fire rate upgrade. You know what, let's just stick with that. Helicopters, VP is of course a must. We do get the VET bonus and activation point cost reduction. So let's make good use of that. 24V isn't really amazing, but it's better than nothing. Planes. Alright, 25T, key unit here. 27M back on Elite now. We don't really want to use the 27PU if we can avoid it, because it doesn't really get, gain much, right? Especially when it comes to ASFs, you want to try to make use of planes that are on veteran or hardened at their quote-unquote ideal veterancy and then get just that one extra veterancy for a significant boost. Biggest, um, the two biggest uh, benefactors of that is, of course, for one, the MiG-25 PD, which got nerfed multiple times. It used to be 90 points at Elite. Now it's 100 points on Veteran, ignoring the boost, of course. And the Yak-141, which comes on Veteran as well, now comes on Elite. So that's a really nice boost. Don't forget, right, the uh, accuracy boost you get from Veteran to Elite is a lot more noticeable than, say, Rookie to Trained or something. Right, so there's 60% base accuracy. Um... On Rookie, right, jumps to 65 on Trained, which is, that's a plus 5. That's another plus 5 to Harden, which is 70. Then it's a plus 6 to Veteran, to 76. And a plus 7 to Elite, to 83, right? So that's, that's very good. What other planes do we want? We need Seed. I'm going to reorganize that in a bit, don't worry. That's not Seed. This is Seed. Might want to get a second Seed card. Coming on Train is nice as well. It's gonna make it a bit more consistent. Maybe I should upvet it. Um, Isle 102 is nice to have. Rocket Pod Plane is good to have. Which can double... You know what? It's double and upvetted, so it can be an acceptable Helicopter Hunter. We shouldn't rely a lot on this. Now what else do we want? We have our ASFs. We have our ATGM planes, really. 25T and 27M, we shouldn't need much more. And if we lose all three of those, we probably lost the game anyway. Seed, we have an HE Bomber. We might want to put in a MiG-31M, but it's eh. It, it does come on a Veteran now, which is certainly very nice. we we'll go for a 24, uh, sorry, 25, a 24M. Maybe a MiG-29, it does have the medium stealth. And you know what, let's run with the MiG-29. I like that plane. Okay, how do we organize this? Um, I want my ASFs first, then I want, essentially by price, ordered the rest of the planes. Although the MiG-29M is kind of an ASF, of course. We have one more point, which means nothing. Okay, back to the infantry tab. 
I think I'm gonna get rid of the Spetsnaz. I really want another card of 18 gems. Let's go with the Factoria. Um, just keep him down with it in the BTRD. Let's just spam him around. All right, how do we organize this? Let's get... Oh, we still have you in the MTV. Do I still want that? Do I still need that? I don't think I do. I have two cards of MTVs. One with the Gornos, one with a... Uh, with the... Um, Rosvetka. Get you in a five-pointer. And yeah, that is that is essentially the strength of Red 4 and Soviet Mech. Look at look at all these ground transfers, right? You can essentially the infantry game can essentially be like a mech mech deck, right? Can play just like that. Let's actually keep you in hardened. Um, I think I might need that many. All right, that's gonna be our deck. Took a bit, but yeah, let's let's roll with it. Running the Emma 24K, not the K52, which I think is perfectly fine. Alrighty. Oh, thanks, Simon K. Thanks for the support. Very much appreciated. Is your corpse airborne in any way viable? You know, at the end of the day, it all depends on what you define as viable. It certainly has some very nice tools, right? The Tigers. The helicopter type Tigers as well, right? People always talk about the uh, Regan type Tiger, and I do as well. But the helicopter type Tigers also, like, for one, they have minimum optics, which is nice. And they also have the same style, right? And very good weaponry. Hot 2 is very good. Mistral is amazing. Rocket pods are good. Their gun is also amazing. It's the same one as the Kasaipi. But you get one front and side armor and 8 HP. And better speed. And optics. Yada, yada, yada. Um, but like many other airborne eggs. Of course. You are restricted to helicopter transports. For like 99% of the units. The exception being like, uh, you know, recon, recon squads for example. Uh, you have some nice planes. It probably got hurt quite a bit by the removal of the second card of Peace Run, it should be said. Um, I mean, you can certainly do recent, de decently with it in, in, if you're a good player. What do you think of Warno and Seal Division? Not a huge fan of Seal Division. Warno, I prefer over Seal Division, but... Oh my god, a second lieutenant? But when it comes to its multiplayer aspect, it just doesn't really offer me anything significant over Red Dragon, right? In like almost any way, so I never feel like, you know, I feel like playing Warner when I could just play Red Dragon. Raz, hey Raz, you're the best. What's your favorite deck to play? Ooh, probably Entente, Mac, honestly. It's a boring deck, it's an OP deck, but it's also just very fun to play. Okay. Well, Heater dropping here is always a bit scary. It's so close to the spawn if they have something like ADATS or Crotals. Heater helicopters are just gonna get murdered. But dropping here is very good. So we shall do that. Let's get an MI24V. Get some Gornos. Um, get some Rosvetka. Pull up with some Iglas. Some Factorias. Some scratchets with VDV90. Let's see. Maybe if we're playing against something like Mech, we might actually be able to get some infantry into mid. So let's get some VDV in there. Let's get a let's get a double stack of Factoria in this town. All right, we can maybe deny something with the Jalos and the BRDM3 for more optics. Although Jalos do have medium optics, which again, very, very nice. Only thing of check national aspect. You've been around for a while. Slip alter, slip alter, slip alter. You're probably trying to <laughs> uh, trigger me a bit, and uh, you have succeeded with that. Well done. Um, for those who want to see your answer, check unspec. Honestly, out of like all the let's say mid tier nations, quite good. Uh, they have a thirty percent availability bonus. Meaning that all their planes, which are 2 per card base, are now 3 per card, which is really nice. 
um, other nations that get like a 20% availability bonus might have better units on paper, but that extra, that 30% availability bonus, you know, giving you three MiG-29s instead of two and stuff like that, it really helps. It really helps. And that, um, there's one of those, one of the relatively rare cases where the availability bonus, um, has like a significant impact on the strength of a deck, right? Because the majority of the time we have like, oh, 10% availability bonus, 15%. Or, you know, if you're really garbage, like 50% bonus, in which case it doesn't really help that much. But in the, in, when it comes to Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, very, very good. Um, so, yeah, honestly, relatively strong. We don't have Recon, Hilo here, whatever. Maybe I should buy a plane. Whatever. Warner Music suit Hilo Rush perfectly. <laughs> Uh, I don't wanna... I, they might have fixed it by now. I, like, permanently. I don't know if it, it's permanently fixed. Um, but... Some of the music is... Of course, licensed, I guess. Meaning that it would get flagged by YouTube's... Copyright thingamabob. Same with the Wargame soundtrack as well, right? It is royalty free, but uh, it's still very, very often, you know, flags videos. Oh, cannot be monetized, or even worse, oh, it's not. Uh, uh, you can't view it from certain locations. Although that's, I don't think that really ever happens with. Oh god, any of the royalty free tracks, but other stuff can still happen. It's a bomber. Is it me two and nine? Right, let's unload you because otherwise you're just gonna get shrek there. Get Nicholas squad. Get some base defense. Let's place you like here. So if something drives down there, you can shoot into the side and rear. Oh, I forgot I had you. Oh, did I kill the helicopter there? Oh, I did. Amazing. Just just look at how much damage this crash had dealt on the move, right? If I had told him to stop, I, they probably would have killed it, but I was too lazy. But, you know, I noticed it too late. But, like, they have 5% stabilizer, right? That's a Tonga, it's like a T-72B or something. Or an OBR, they use the same model. E1, same thing really. Also uses the same model. I, sh I thought about turning off the Jalos weapons, I was like, eh, it's probably gonna be out of line of sight. It wasn't. Oh, that's not good. Splash damage on my Gonos. Ouch. Well, that's all the missiles gone at least. Okay, let's get a PD for circling. That's the MiG-29S again. Oh, that's another one. Oh, it's stuck in the mud. Oh, you're gonna get directly hit. Not, not a very good opener on my part. Let's get another PD. I have uh, MTB still here. Yeah. Dude, that range on the RPG 16D on 60% base accuracy is so good. It's kind of a shame that they're on the on mostly, let's say, not so great squads. Really, on only two squads, right? On the uh, Commandosi and oh, stupid stealth. Commandosi and base VDV. Проверка 
Right. There's a tank. Another. Gonna be the scratch it as well. Tank. You're just digging your own grave if you drive in that deep. It's got like uh, some scratch it's like over that far on, over the flank, so if planes fly over there. Take damage, get stunned. You get like 4 mag 23 mls? Uh, no, you get 3. They have, assuming you up bet. If you down bet, then I suppose yes, you get 4 in uh, Czechoslovakia. If you up bet, you get 3. Which is still amazing, right? Uh, because base up bet is super card. That way you get more. Oh my god, am I rear shotting this? I am. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, PU, Jesus. One shot? No. One shot? Oh, I got a stun though. Oh, it actually killed both of them. Ah. But I did hit him once and instantly. That's, that's the beauty of these 8 HE missiles, right? Wait, what? Okay. I mean, I was confident that I would that I would that I would win, but I'm still like, what? Maybe they had to leave. Oh, geez, that's that's what I call it, committed. Well, let's try another one with the stack because we got so little airtime. And then after that, let's let's try that Eurogear okay, one. Jeff, what the heck is this name? Oh, it's Jackie. Did we get Jackie? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, if we got Jackie, that'd be pretty funny. Jackie's a very good player, of course. Hey, this time. No. Last, we played against him, like, I don't know, two weeks ago or something on stream as well. And I didn't realize it was him afterwards, until afterwards. Okay. Um, I would say probably not the worst map, because we can't grind... Should be able to grind pretty well here in Boris. I definitely want to see if I can f make him fight over here, which would be good for us. Who the heck is Alex? And how do... Oh, it's our opponent. Gonna stay our cheap. And I also... Okay, how do we want to do this? We obviously want to start with a MTV. Oop, one MTV. Over here, hovered low. Let's get mo 24 k over flying that, that away. With uh, some additional MTVs. Also for sponging damage, really. 8 HP, it's pretty good. Um... I don't think we need Gornos anywhere right, at the, right away. Maybe we want Gornos here, but given that we plan to push down here, not so great. Gornos in here might actually not be too bad, though. Let's also get some Factoria in there. Get some Shallows for some wield power. Let's actually get them a bit further back. Some CPTUs up front. Um... What if, like, there's a hero or, or something coming down there? Let's say with the Eurocomoto. A bunch of field stuff driving up here and a tiger killing my MTV. What do we do? Hmm, that is a good question. We had no VMF for the tiny portion, Greg. You're not wrong. That would be sick. Oh, it would be amazing. Oh, you're so right. Now I wish I had... Oh, what did you do to me? Let's get some base VDV. See, sometimes I don't understand. When it comes to some things, uh, you know, 
the tab is ordered the way you ordered it in the armory, but you know, then these VDV and VDV9, they're just completely mixed up. I just don't understand how, how the ordering works sometimes. What about a recon tab? Same thing here. I guess in this case, it might just automatically, you know, because they might be split in helicopters, infantry, and vehicles, maybe they it's automatically ordered the way that infantry always first and helicopters and vehicles. In infantry tab, I don't get it why VDV are in front of VDV9 even. You know, the rest is ordered the way I wanted it to. Just huge in things. Um, MD3 might be fun here. Do we want to get a plane at the start? Maybe we want an Isle 102. Oh, I want to start with an Isle 102. <laughs> Oh, but it's, it's such a gamble, because if there's just no concentrated forces, then it's just 100 point, 180 points, you collect like two vehicles or something. Such a commitment. Now I wish I had a helicopter hunter, a proper one. Get an Igla with scratch in there. And some VDB90. Maybe like a BMP6. You know what, instead of BMP665, why not just get Jalos? 80 points, maybe just save those 80 points. Um, and yeah, well, let's get like one BB3 here. Uh, get a base VDV. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like a fun. I wish the order followed the way you set up in you. Yeah, I know. And again, to some extent, it does do that, right? But like, not always. That's just annoying. All right, you. Let's try to have you like unload here. You try to unload there. You try to unload here. You fly that away. Get in there. That's because I cannon. Ah, oh, is he scared? He's scared with the cannon, I think. That's a cobra? Oh! It is Moto. Oh, the, the rocket pods! Yeah. Oh, it's blue mode. What the heck did I just kill with those empty? Did you see that snipe on the Gurkhas? Jesus Christ. Oh no. was this man oh those lot of tiger are firing out of there get these p 30s out of there so they don't get killed oh those are navy seals that's not good Oh, you shouldn't do that with your... VTRTs, yeah, oh, look at those quad PKTs. Holy moly! You got murdered, buddy! Did you see those VTRTs at 90% accuracy at that range? Whoa, baby! Okay, get you out of there. There's another infantry squad that might not be... A... 
Okay, yeah, I think my pop squad. Oh, no, that's just the M35. It looks a bit. Did I kill the Roy cut that was there? I hope I did. Oh, SASF, okay. We'll see if we can split this. I haven't done this in a while. Ah, I, I would have been able to had I, you know, the angle. Is this allowed? It's, it's still is out. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Get you out and repaired. It actually hit me once. Nice. Good trade. Is it a VDAA? Probably. Oh, they're still shooting at me with the, the, the non cigarette. With their super trickless rifles. That's a bush line? Jesus. So I gotta go with, deal with those SASF. Get some more Factoria down there. Establish our position. Honestly, this was quite a reasonable opener. I did fear this would happen, but it actually went perfectly fine because rocket pods are broken. <laughs> Had he started with the single, like, um, or with a better AA kilo, things could have, uh, and it would have. Okay, you're spotted. That's not good. Worked out completely different. I have to, like, Navy SEALs in there. Get some base speed here. Okay. Get that supply for our VDV. Yeah, they're also spotted. Okay. Oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. VDV should win. They have an MG. But I gotta be careful that the scratches are not moving in because then they would get dragged by the LREC stunned and the VDV would also lose. Uh, morale, so that's not good. I also get a mortar. And yeah, now they're losing. I don't like that these guys are spotted. We gotta deal with those SASF here as well. Oh, nah, smoke was not good enough. Why are these shallows spotted? Really from there? Maybe. H7 is infantry CV. There would no be no other way that the that H7 comes at that veterancy. I, both recon and infantry tab get a veterancy bonus in moto, right? So uh, you can't get it on that veterancy. Outside of you know an infantry CV. Right, these brickers are still shooting. Smoke this off. Oh, that's not good. Get these a bit back. Get some more motors, honestly. And... Maybe another Igla. And I wanna get it. Oh, okay, it's good. It's a Commando Spada in there. Okay. And let's preemptively get another PD. Let's 
Let's put him up so the H7 doesn't murder me. Oh, that's a Crotal down there. Let's get some BTRDs. Uh, let's get some, sorry, Factorias down there. Crotals are not nice. Oh my god, what is this Igla? Oh, Navy Seals, that's not good. Ah, I lost line of sight. Some of these guys. I guess like Sagais with that little armor. Should be pretty good. Oh, sh oh damn. I have too little AA, which is pretty funny as an airborne deck. He's used to stop using the stabilizer. Oh god, that's a. Yeah, it's a pivots. Recall his rifles and oh, yeah, I only oh, I have to set armor. Okay, oh, and they have only one armor. Shadow's actually very good here. Maybe I should get like an Isle 1 or 2, but my A. Uh, they. Uh, not sure about the uh, prospects of it surviving. Even if it does have 2 armor. Isn't Red Air better? Probably, yeah. But honestly, you thought that it's just easier to build because you get so many more activation points. And for me, as the Red Air noob, I felt that at the end of the day, even if Red Air is stronger. With such a little experience, I might be able to get better. More success out of it than with Red Air. Plus, you know, maybe like with the Shallows. Shallows, at least thus far, especially in this matchup, and you know, maybe the BMP685 as well, have served me very well. Let's get just a couple of rounds in there. I still don't know if I, I don't think I dealt with the SASF here. So I gotta be very careful. Let's place these at like certain positions where they might be trying to ambush me. Get you out of here. What's your veterancy looking like? You gained a bit of XP. Alright, you're running again. You get supplied. They run out of ammo pretty quickly with 20 RPM. Because the air can actually play surprising normal for an airborne deck. I mean, red air isn't that different. Oh, there they are. Red air isn't that different. Sure, you don't get Jalos or brm 3s but you get like um, a bunch of finished stuff. Charioteer or their weird Jeep or something. So you still get something. Really? It's just rude. Ah, nice Scania, buddy. Get a Euro there as well. Uh, sorry, the Guru squad. Red Air rise in one plane spam. Yeah, but also you can plane spam better because you can get like 30 points, 30 point planes for like uh, meat shields. So they can. I mean, they rely on it more because they can just do it better as well. 
Yeah. It's kind of like saying mech, mech decks uh, rely on the infantry more. Ah, oh, that's not very nice. Oh yeah, you get J7s. You get lots of good lanes in Red Air. Can we play one recently? I have. Still don't like it very much. Not over a dragon, at least. Yes, sir. are actually really annoying. Okay, that's also very annoying. SF in there as well. Now I wish I had Spetsnaz in my deck, god damn it. Oh, be careful, it's 24k. No, 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 stop it! You gotta get in trouble! Kapow! Get a hind for some long range at the Oh, you know what? I think just because we can, let's get an Akula, shall we? It's such a bad idea, but it would be so fun. <laughs> okay, you're actually alive somehow. I think we need more infantry first. Get some scratch ads. Ooh, interesting. A 103C. Would you look at that? Oh, side shot. Screw us, spotting. Oh, ah, so close. Oh, that's not good. Get a, maybe some corners in there. Nice. The, okay, that's. Oh, did you see that? The I, I was monitoring that, right? And the fire there, I think, caused the MX-13 to slightly move up and the Factoria killed it. Wow. Talk about, like, a, an amazing kind of interaction. That is honestly so sick. Honestly, that's a good trade if it means we can finish it off now. Thank you, out of fuel. Nice, there you go. Ah, I can't, I can't ride it like command units at the same time. Oh, yes, catch them out in the open and miss all your shots. Oh, 
let me go for the red crypto. Come on. You still have ammo? Break that upside! <laughs> Such a strong position for the crypto. It's not out of ammo, probably. Ah, uh, all the time, I. My... Get it, Akula. Okay, I managed to save two of them at least. Get you up there so you can resupply. You know what, let's get some BMD 3s here. Alright, I have my Akula! <laughs> Is that blue motor again? So, yes, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, you're out of fuel. <laughs> out of ammo. Bob's still looking okay. You're not spotted, you're just out in the open, right? Yeah, okay. Honestly, I kind of want to just IL-102 this. No, don't shoot. I just wanted to have you turn. No, change altitude again, please. Oh my god, why do you... Sometimes this game... Damn, dude, those mortars are actually going real ha really ham, man. Get a CV as well. He doesn't get tank CV, so the CV can't be tanky. Quite literally. <laughs> oh, those are some Amex tents. Let's just drive up with you and see what happens. Thing. That's the that's the spag. Some good damage. Let's get seed. Maybe we can kill that spag. But it's not moving there, so I can move the MTV over here again. This infantry squad. Range. Oh, 
Kapow! Already worth it. Ooh, that's not good though. Okay, motors, get out of there. You're too expensive now. That's a BMD3. Oh, it does that make sense, of course. Turn your ammo off. Turn your weapon off so you don't take your position away. Let's get this IL-102! What is this, a Kurnas? That's not good. That's actually perfectly fine. I wanna wait for seat though. Oh, these say makes sense though. That's a death how? I'm ECB, okay. I lost seat, that's okay. Did I buy a CV over here? I did not. Oh boy. That was stupid. Oh, really? And this works as well, I guess. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I killed the Akula. Eh, sorry, not the Akula. The, um... Nah. What's it called, huh? Krutal. Come on, I told you to go to the farm and back. Oh, that's a man pad. Oh, no, it was a cartel. Over there. Over there. Get some more Factorias going. They're a key to victory. I don't want to reach Eel. I know, it's, it's like Su 27 right and whatnot. It's just force of habit, I'm sorry. Uh, yak, uh, sorry, not the Yak. The uh, Kernas is also still out there. So I should really get that. Oh, that's not good. I need your uh, repairs. We got a Yak one for one going ASAP. Place you at the edge here to stop. Throwing stuff. I'm happening. Battle 20. What's the veteran see on that? Could it be an infantry CV? No. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Get our yak out.
three Roy cats, Jesus. Well, that's the infantry, that's the CV. Oh, Akula, what are you doing? Nice. Oh, it still got me. This piece of shit. Oh, you died there. That's unfortunate. Also, not really unexpected, in all honesty. One of them's gonna have like auto cannons and shit all over the zoo. Um. Oh, we killed the CV over there. That's good. That's uh, the Kratal moving up. You know what, I think it's time for CV to come, but... Maybe not, though. <laughs> maybe actually not. Oh, maybe it is, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, I still have you? What? When did I buy you and move you there? What the heck? those crew but they did well they spotted some nice stuff oh, interesting let's just attack them if we down there ETRD is doing a nice work oh now no, now one of you is D track that's great that's just great let's get a hind there hinds are good You're not spotted, so we can move you back in. Uh, maybe like over here instead, though. Victorious! Yes! Oh, maybe over here after all. It's ASF out. There's the Kurnas. Just two of the R-77s. One hit, very good. Okay, at least we're gonna not we're not gonna see it for a while. Victoria just keeps on missing. That's Jägare. Nice Victoria hit. Okay. Oh wow, they actually one shot me? How did my shit get one shot there? Up front by the Nolan Segre. If uh, I don't have enough AP to one shot uh, two armor. Unless it was like for some reason showing its rear that way and took ages to turn around and thus front didn't hit. Like it uh, didn't show front at the end of the day. But oh, that's MX 13. Wow, it actually killed me. I it only has one, one front, uh, two front, but one side. Get a part of. The thing. I'm losing. That's one thing gone. Oh, I mix 13s. They're not good. Uh, that's a 90 on the way. Oh, uh, more yeah, I got a 90.
It's not looking good. Is it gonna be annoying? That's for sure. We've gotta keep the distance to them. Are the owning cannons over. Oh, they're gonna drive down there or up there, rather. Oh, did I kill the CV again? Is it trying to counter better me now? <laughs> Oh, weapons gem, really? Yikes. Oh, no, I did not kill the sea, but that's good. Ammo is running low, though. Kernels again. Gonna fly over the uh But did it just snipe the CV like that? Just randomly? That's hilarious if true. Big if true, even. Okay, maybe this is winnable still. That's it's just Panther. Nothing to be afraid of. It's a wild animal. Scary, yes, but... Joe Exotic taught me. I'm joking, I'm joking. We need more protection against the MX-13 horde that's about to hit us, though. That's what those hinds are for, among other stuff. What are they gonna drive up there? I love CVs, I still wanna cap this. Just to turn around the nose, because as you can see, it's looking somewhere else. It's a spag. Oh, that's smart. That's one way to counter that, though. No, oh, that's not very good. Oh, let's get another hind. <laughs> we are playing airborne, right? So we can just spam uh, helicopters, yes? No? Maybe? These MX 13s are so good! There's Kratal. Get out of there! Run the range, man! Come on, please be on attack move. It wasn't on attack move. Oh, but the commando paras weren't as well. Uh, either. Does it have line of sight on you? I, I don't have another rocket plane. I don't know if the points for the other one or two. Oh, move, move towards him so the splash. Oh, he didn't go for them. And I actually survived. CV4 mid is not an option anymore. It's too late. Oh, 
we didn't get the CV. How unfortunate. Oh, this crash heads, look at him go! Oh, we, we, we're leading. The crash heads out of ammo! But we're not picking anymore. It's gonna be a draw. You know what? I'm happy with the draw. It might have been a favorable matchup, but I'm just so inexperienced. Plus, we have more conquest points, so I count it as a win, okay? Oh god. Honestly, the, in this case, what really helped was that Nonas are actually some of the like, uh, more accurate models, right? They get an accuracy bonus over stuff like HS30s. So their accuracy really helped. It's sniping like many units, like Protoss and such. Oh god, I'm getting healer rushed? That's not fair. You even have a better KD. Would you look at that? Oh, look at this Jalo logo. I mean, the opener really went well for me, but I I wouldn't say I threw it away, but it was my game to lose, and I almost lost it. At least I think that. <laughs> but some units, man, those, those shallows. And I'm playing airborne, and my ground units do so well. <laughs> Look at those nonas, man. <laughs> I mean, the Aquila was a stupid buy. I said it when I bought it, so it doesn't count, right? I wanted to actually kill, kill a lot of stuff there. Alright, since someone asked, let's play Uruguay Airborne. It's gonna be a lot more difficult. But you know, why not give it a shot, right? Okay, Panther, we might want to get this. Um, sure. We get truck, so that's good. Okay. Legion 90 are a must. All right. But Schmieger, are we gonna... Legion are 20 points. They might be our main infantry here. But here's like a huge difference, right? Cheapest transport, 15 points, and it's a helicopter. So after transporting, it has like virtually no offensive direct usage. Of course, you can use it like, you know, spawn helos, uh, use them as, uh, as sponges and stuff, right? But uh, it's gonna... We can't really rely on like uh, grinding with chunks. We have to rely on like elites and such. I hate this CH 53G. Let's try something like this for now. We're gonna. Or it says R is, of course, fun. Kratals are nice. And. Want this motor because it has more range. This is just horrible. This is good. Tiger is a must. These are a must, so we get something in a ground transport that can fight. Um, Gazelle Cannon? So we're gonna adjust it better, like, more closely in a bit. Tigers, Tigers, Kasai, P. I do like me the cheap, hot, and probably Celtic. No Roland? Probably not, because for anti-planes, I'll have, like, my ASFs, right? Rafale is... It, you don't gain anything. It's still, like, just elite as it is normal, but it, it's just so stupid. You just gotta take it. KWS on elite is, of course, amazing. Peace run is good. 
Uh, Super Eden Dart is nice. Oh god, I, I'm, and I don't have activation points left, right? So there we go. That's the, that's the five activation points, right? That Soviets get on top of this. Um, let's get rid of one Recon card. And probably... Just get like one Crotal. Shouldn't need that much AA. Cluster Plane. Seed. Rid of you as well. Okay. Uh, Super Etendard. I don't think Alpha Jet is very good. Like, not even like for. for uh, I mean. Might be a better Helo Hunter. But we have. Uh, do we need. We don't. Do we need these three ASFs? Maybe we do. Mirage, they don't gain much because they already come on Elite, other than this one. So, neither of these are honestly good options. Idea, so we have some HE Bomber, and the 5F is just. bad. Um, maybe the F4F isn't too bad. It's very fast, too, which can be handy. Let's order this around a bit. Uh, let's do it like this. I like to have my Heal Hunters on the. On the right side. Even if I have my other ASFs on the left. Uh, because that kind of I think is very much needed. We use all the three cards of Panthers, that's good. I think this point we might as well take the Pure Pirate, 5 points. 55 versus 60 points when you buy 6 per game, not a big deal. Let's have them like this. Ah, whatever. Order is not that important. I could run only three, uh, 2 cards of CVs to save some activation points, but I don't think I want to. Oh, that's gonna be a rough one. That's gonna be a rough one. Yeah, cheapest card in the infantry of 35 points. I could get like a 30 point base chasseur squad, but I don't think it's worth it. I could, maybe I should run Jäger instead of chasseur 85, right? You get him in the Dornier. Hold on a sec. Wait, you don't get Jäger in Avon? Yeah, well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not having any ground transports really sucks. Yep, very much. And it's not just not having ground transports, right? On top of that, Red 4, Soviets also get, like, Scratchets, BTRD robots, even. Not, and not to mention, like, the BMD line, which, it's not amazing. Oh god, we got Jackie again. Oh god. Well, this one's gonna be a clear loss. Uh, being these, they are, like, amazing, but they said something, right? Uh, well, it's a large map, so that's good. We obviously want to drop over there. So let's heal rush. <laughs> Um, we're sneaky breaking around, get some commando paras, commandos para, commando marines, that's the word, <laughs> get gazelle cannons, maybe, if you're playing against blue moto again, it's gonna be really horrible to try anything in mid in the opener especially, because crotals from, from th that much in the opener are just gonna shrek us, right? I could gamble, start with the peace run and hope there's only one Crotal that I can then snipe and hopefully land. But he's also gonna have SASF, SASF, right? I'm not gonna heal a Russian, no. Oh. 
I'm gonna have to try to land them right here and ho hopefully and hope that Forrester blocks line of sight. This is actually I can just get like two of you, so that's that's better. You should you should don't don't sack them. It's gonna just make them take much longer to unload. Get a KWS early. Uh, we should definitely get like a lead. Uh, sorry, Milan on the left as well. Ah oh, man, fine. One Milan should be enough in mid. This is gonna be so awful. So so awful. But you enjoy watching me suffer, don't you? You get off one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> or do I? Look, I'm not. I'm not king shaming. Would you consider playing ten versus ten matches? Sure. I just don't really like them that much. They're fine. Occasionally, I play them. Maybe I'll do it like next stream. Maybe next stream is gonna be a ten v ten stream. I'm gonna try to keep the streams like themed to an extent. Like Airborne today, last time we did... Did we do Marines last time? No, that was the time before that. The last time we did US Mech. So maybe next one's gonna be a 10v10 stream or something. Well, he's taking his time. Now, if I were to play 10 returns, do you prefer tacticals or the quote unquote normal ones with very high income? Or high income or whatever? On like Asgard and whatnot? Oh, thanks, 89Me. I appreciate the support. You said that the game is pretty well balanced after the last update. What tunes would you adjust to make the game better? Um, hold on a sec, let me micro this first. When it comes to nerfing... Probably the BVP. Probably the M84AN. Probably the Dutch MX-13. Um... Probably, well, not so much units, but what I would do is remove the vet bonus from mech. Some people say remove the... Oh, maybe they're playing in Scandi. Ooh. Some people are saying like, oh, you should remove... Oh, this is Scandi a Lantern. Vet bonus and the slot? I think that's too much. Or and slots? I think that's that would be too much. Get a KWS. Oh shit. Oh, you didn't. Oh, I hate it when it. Yeah. When you have landed helicopters on attack move, but they are technically in range of something, then they will not uh, lift off. It's it's very weird. It's an annoying. Uh, very annoying interaction. It's automatic! <laughs> Come on, shoot for my KWS automatic. You know you want to. Oh! Oh, that's RBS 90? That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I'm getting so wrecked here. Holy shit. Shoot this. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> 
And welcome, uh, Brooks. It's, uh, it's appreciated, those words. It's very kind words. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Get like a tiger head? And hope to snipe like the LVK V90 or whatever he has in terms of AA over there? Oh, you missed the 78% chance. That's nice to see. We're all hovering low, at least. Now, now I can't really reinforce this position, right? Because there's AA there, and I have to deal with the AA first before I uh, do anything else. Before I even can like attempt to like land there with anything. Oh, and I'm waiting so many missiles because I keep losing out of sight on that on that vehicle there. Why am I doing this to me again? To myself? Oh, I'm always underestimating the range! This is just... This is just... Uh, uh, suffering. Pure suffering. Here's what I can do. Oh, hold on. Come on, peace, Ryan. Do it for me. Yes. We killed something. Nope, the other one. There you go. Come on, other commander marines. Help out, help out, help out. Yeah, look at him get tracked. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, we're playing against Mech, I think. As well. Oh, it, it actually can't be worse. Oh, no. I'd, I'd buff, if I had the choice, I'd buff some units, yeah, that's for sure, especially like stuff in the vehicle type. I have like an, like a document, uh, with some very rough ideas that I just set up when I was bored, in case there's another patch or something. I don't know if this is an STRF-90 or the LVKV-90, so, uh, yeah. Look, any kill is a good kill, okay? Also, this is just completely open. There's an M41. Still have both my seaplanes, at least. I probably shouldn't even see VR, but a plus two is too hard to come back from. Oh, you can actually see the radar box on the model? I didn't notice. I should pay attention to that. Same for the one shooting with its medium stealth. Of course, there's man pads in there. Oh, that's. <laughs> look at the 50 cal, man. Oh, look at it go. Am I able to keep spotting it? Kill it. Using a 100 point. Fine to get a 10 point unit. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't move with my Legion 90. Did I not buy two? Wait, what? Oh, that's the motors. 
And there's Lift Garden in there on, on Elite. Oh man, what am I doing to myself? You know, don't don't bother with this. Screw that. Get it get away, darn years. I don't even know how I would deal with like a spam of like reservers, five pointers and whatnot just fast moving down there. How am I supposed to deal with that? Like oh man. To be fair it wasn't intended to like be a meme stream or anything. You know, Soviet Airborne is very capable. And I would it would feel much better to play Soviet Airborne. But I thought, like, you know, do I, someone was asking about, you know, how viable is your Caribbean? I was like, it's probably kind of okay. But man, is it suffering. Ah, and it's panicked because of transport that right next to it. That's why you gotta be careful with your transports. And you also gotta be careful that you don't get overwhelmed by like 500 enemy units! Uh, yeah, you know what? That's, that's not... You're, you're right, it's not fun. Like, some people might enjoy like, just... Watching me suffer, but like, it's just... Not, it's not fun for me, and I think the majority of you don't like it either. Let's, let's just... Uh, see, this is why I hate Airborne decks. Uh, let's, let me really take a look here. Oh, is that the radar box? Oh, it's like 90 slash 40 or something. Oh, just 90, right? Yeah, okay, it has a box there. I didn't, I never noticed that actually. Is that everyone is reasonable? Yeah, exactly. Let's go, let's go back with, uh, no, no, you sorry, Airborne. I got someone else. Maybe Blue Airborne, honestly, no. It's, it's still so much... Blue Airborne is still so much more, so much harder. Because the only ground transports you get are like Humvees. I think you get Cuspiers and such. You don't get BT, the BTR line. You don't get... You only get like Steer Armor, 6 HP, you know, Rocketbot helicopters, right? Red Airborne and Soviet Airborne is just so much more comfortable. All right, let's get this. You know what? Let's. Here's what we'll do: let's unload you in this one, so we have the K to the nine immediately for the front line there. Uh, let's land with Gornos. Do I even want a twenty-four V? I think I do. I mean, Blue Airborne is fairly viable. Greyhound does, did pretty well with it, but I'm just... On top of it being just, you know, in my eyes, worse than Soviet Airborne, I'm just not good at Airborne X and, well, not experienced. Well, not experienced leads to me not being good. So, I, I'm i already worse than, like, it's a Nick or someone, someone with uh, this deck. On Blue Airborne, you'd, you'd see it... Uh, it'd be a lot more noticeable on top of that. So we definitely want to like get in there. See if we can get like a hind over here in that area. Maybe I should start with the PD. People like to start with the planes on this map. Got like a triple stack of base VDV for in there. And uh, some Fatoria to further bolster our position. And maybe that's actually not... Uh, let's get... That was 30 points, this is 40 points. I feel like a BTRD instead, with a VDB9 in this squad. Our, our FOB, let's keep it like back here, so it's not as easily spotted. With helicopters, I don't need it to be that much for the front line as well, I'm a... USA Blue Dragons Israel have ground transport, so most likely the best blue airborne deck is mixed. Oh yeah, for, for sure. For sure. 
it's definitely mixed. Um, you're so restricted in airborne that f single units uh, have, having access to like that one unit is can be so strong. Uh, you get MX13, so you probably get the Dutch MX13, so if some, which already gives a very strong ground fighting capabilities for an airborne deck. Um, you get the various American planes, you get the Kurnas then suddenly as well. You get the Hamers and the Humvees, so you get your Shayatand, you get your Tsan Hanim from Israel. Um, you get your Stingers and Humvees as well from, from okay, I mean, infantry-wise you honestly don't gain much from USA. But it's, uh, but most importantly, Israel, you get some nice stuff. Sure, you lose like it's a UD two ninety. You lose you lose your Tigers, but just having, for example, those San Hanim and those MX thirteens, the Dutch ones, it makes such a huge difference. You still get your Crotals as well. Um, and planes wise, Eurocor just isn't that strong for airborne. You ha having an A ten is really really good. Having the having your Kurnas, right? Your ground strike planes are just pretty weak on on. Or Eurocore. I mean, Peace Run is fine, right? But for what it does, but when you have to rely on so much on planes potentially to kill all the enemy ground units or the majority, then my man just didn't say anything. Well, if we get Heal Rush, we're done. Let's actually keep you like here and then change altitude. Light Ruffman and Hamisa. Oh yeah, Light Ruffman are nice. True. That's that's very true. I forgot about them. I was only thinking of like Ruffman. Because you lose your Marines, you lose your small. But Broken Arrow is gonna have a playtest on February sixth. You interested? Wow. Uh, honestly, not really. Not because I'm. I think like the game is bad. Just because I just know so little, and I'm just simply not hyped because I'm. Busy with other stuff, and you know, you know, maybe if I played it, I'd be like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" And again, I'm not. I don't believe it's a bad game, or it will be a bad game. I'm just not hyped. So, and I think that's good. I think it's good to not be hyped because it allows you to manage your expectations and such. I wanted to buy a plane. I just remembered, and I didn't. You're them too, so you don't see that very often. Uh, our Gornos didn't really do much, but they held our opponent like uh, off a bit, so that's good enough. Come on, I told you to look that way. Okay, okay, okay. Look at those corners go. And frankly, as much as I had hoped Warner would be good, and as much as I would love a Wargamer Dragon 2, at this, at this point I'm kind of ready for like, you know, not playing a significant amount of like war game like games for the foreseeable future if ever so I'm, I'm i'm you know content with letting it go essentially if there's gonna be a good game like that amazing if not okay <laughs> would you use very speed too good with a prize buff and if say the lvtp got to armor nope Unless, let's say, you make US Marines suddenly 5 points. 
Um, I don't think so. US Marines is playable, it's fine, but by no means in a, in a position where buffing one unit to a... What, what the heck? Buffing one unit to like a certain degree would suddenly make it broken. Unless you like... You know, again, do something stupid like, oh, US Marines for five points. Stage five of grief acceptance. <laughs> Pretty much, honestly. Uh, hello, Moaz Mohammed. That's how it's pronounced, I'm sorry. If that's not. Oh, get out of there! Uh, I don't think I can save you. Maybe if I, like, hop around that way, I can survive. Now, where is that infantry squad that killed our helicopter? Like an AT weapon, by the sounds of it. Maybe it didn't? Maybe I just misheard something? Kill that Oza. Heck yeah. Okay. No! Why did you why did you jump, Gru? Why did you jump? Idiot. Moron. With the it doesn't have any change in one pocket. <laughs> oh pocket hell yeah, Jelly Envy, how's it going man? Oh man. Those jelly one pocket po pocket evies. Also probably Gru moving in there. Yep, Gru. I was hoping maybe they wouldn't be on attack move, so my BTRDs could just murder them. They weren't. Oh well. Victoria is doing great though. There's Gornos in there, I think. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's showing front. Oh, it's showing side again. Oh, it's showing front. <laughs> I'm addicted to PoE. Honestly, never got into that, and I'm kind of glad. Because whenever I hear people who actively play it talk about it, they feel so annoyed by the devs for various reasons, or by the game. Our opponent's really struggling, huh? Which is good for me. <laughs> we, should, we could probably like fast move in with 5 BTRDs and 4 BTRDs and just wreck that infantry at gem squad in there. So I should go for this. Let's scratch it. Just look at how these elite scratchets melt helicopters. I mean, they're don't get me wrong, scratchets are good, like, even on like the lowest veterancy. But this is just disgusting. Oh, and it's GG already. <laughs> Game's fine, just too too addictive. You know, it's been a while, honestly, since I've had a game like that, which is probably good. <laughs> it's healthier. What was the last game that really gripped me? Honestly, I don't know. I think it might have been... Might have been Fire Emblem Three Houses. I, I, honestly, I got a new Fire Emblem. I still haven't started it. I have it lying, lying around here for one week, but I never had, like felt I had the time. I never wanted to be like, oh, you know, now I got like a good amount of time to really start playing it because I don't want to just play for 30 minutes when it's a new game and then just immediately lay it, uh, put it away. I guess I'm playing a good amount of DR, uh, Deep Rock Galactic recently, but it's been a while since since there's been a game where I'm like, I could play at least like 12 hours a day. It's really been a while. But 
let me let me check on Steam. Hmm. I think the closest recently, funnily enough, might have been the first Elex. Any of y'all know uh, Gothic, the janky German RPG series? Uh, a few years ago they made Elex and, you know, just last year I think put out Elex too. And I was like, you know what, I like the Gothic. Let's play Elex. Didn't expect much, it was janky, but it was still very addictive for some reason. Um... This was probably the closest thing to it. Rock and Stone, brother! Hell yeah! <laughs> Mech Warrior 5. Never. I mean, I heard of it. I honestly still don't really understand. It's like an RTS, it's like a third person action game. I don't understand. I don't know. Persona 5. Heard a lot of good stuff about Persona 5. And I definitely want to check this out as well. That out as well eventually. Honestly, the only other things I'm excited about right now are like Baldur's Gate 3. Very excited. Not necessarily because I'm a Baldur's Gate fan. I played the first one, but you know, I didn't really have a whole lot of fun and never really played the second one. But I'm just a huge Larian fan. I love Divinity, all their games, even like the old Divinities. And so I'm massively excited for Baldur's Gate 3. And then Starfield, actually. I, I believe Todd's lies. I, I believe him. Baldur's Gate 2 is a better one, but it's honestly just so old and the combat is just so not fun, man. It's just not fun, it's just... Ugh. Valheim? Valheim I bought, but I still haven't launched yet either. Uh, okay, so from this side, yeah, let's try the healer drop Ivan. No, I wanna, okay, I've lost a couple of times so like a push here with healer drops, I wanna do that. Let's just get a 24k. Um, some more empty, let's see, 50 points. And for 10 points more, let's get that, let's get those 80 gems, shall we? I think a 3 should be enough. And then, get like... Conquerors behind, Factorias behind. Still get a hind. Um, let's get some shallows. Maybe we can hunt down some IA trying to run away. EDV9, they are always good. We need a second CV. <laughs> Well, let's get the K29. It's gonna be able to protect this part well enough, I think. 25 points, get like you and you. I cheese my way with Gnome Thief slash Illusionist. I mean, yeah, but at that point, I just. Might as well not play the game. I might as well just, you know, Google. Um... You know what the story is about or something. Magoria is half and half that and Merc Company Sim. Okay. Mac Pilot Sim. Yeah, I got some games on my pile of shame. Like uh, another one I got recently was Expeditions to Rome, which I heard was pretty good. Also, I haven't launched it yet. Cheese J Persona 5 because I hate JRPG combat. What is honestly I played so few JRPG games. I played like Fire Emblem, but it's not really a JRPG, right? It's uh, like a tactical thing. Oh, this Baldur's Gate Rome, right? I think so. It's kind of like a it's a tactical RPG as well. Um they made like a few other like expedition and whatnot games, but I heard that Rome is actually really really good. Something like about BG3, standard combat is not the only way to go, there are a lot of tricks you can do to solve issues in other ways. Yep, but it's also like, kind of like, a very Larian thing. Oh, not so much in like, origin, in like, not everything of course, but they always try to give you like, a lot of options. Either just a lot of options in terms of how you approach combat, but sometimes also just, you know, approach quests or something in a way where you don't really have to fight much. Of course not... Not a huge amount in Divinity because it's still very much 
combat focused. Um, but I always like trying at least. I always have high ambitions. Oh yeah, Borderlands 3 is playable. They only have the first act out. But I mean, I played it in like the first month for a good amount. It was playable back then as well. But I haven't touched it since. I've sort of kept up with like the updates. Um, but I haven't touched it yet because I I was like, alright, I'm going to play through Act once very early on. Just get like a feel. And because I kind of crave Larian games. And then just be done with it until release. Wait, is it the same guy as last time? And they de-ranked to Lieutenant Colonel? Play the last patron, it's very fun. Wait, are you not uh, still angry about the fact that it's not turn that it's turn based? <laughs> it's original in three. Re. Let's try to land you like very deep in this. That might be a bit too deep. It might be the same guy, it's the Soviets by the looks of it. Those are... It's probably either from an infantry CV or those are Razvetka. Or I guess Gornos or something. Razvetka. It's the same guy, BRDM2s. Who uses BRDM2s in the Soviet deck, huh? Nobody does that. It is kind of based though. Honestly, very underrated unit. Oh, so I won't be here, uh, Madam TV. That's not allowed. Break down of side. Rush it. Uh, you can just stay there, I guess. You two try to get in there. There are more battle attack, XCOM titles, turn based combat, and trail RPGs. Okay, then what about stuff like, you know, Divinity Original Sin or Divinity Original Sin 2, right? Party base, or like, you know, normal R quote unquote Western RPG turn based combat, I guess. And not JRPG turn by his combat. Okay, there's the Gornos in there. There's Betson Screw, yep. Scratches have a long reload time. Maybe I'll be able to get out and kill the scratch before it kills my MDB. You can also be armed. Where are this guy's points always going, man? Pathfinder. I played the first Pathfinder through the end. Honestly, Pathfinder first one. I liked it, but my but holy shit, the last act is such a slog. It is so annoying. I remember actually installing a mod that like gave me like very high speed and just one-shotting everything because I just couldn't be asked. That that last mod, that last slog, that, that last act was so so annoying. And I, re I remember still finishing it on the eve 
of getting the first dosage of the my first dosage of the COVID vaccine. Because I, I remember starting to feel like the first symptoms of you know headaches and whatnot. And that and did that did not improve like my lasting memory of the game because now I connected to like headache. Oh get out of there, there's a tor. Uh, I played, I started the second one, I just never continued it for some reason. Jesus Christ, I hate it when BTR speak. <laughs> the war is over by the same guys. <laughs> by the same guy, a shitty show for little children about life, wildlife. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh no. I should win, right? I'm on the lead. And they're out in the open. You also get repaired. That's a lucky 24D. Yep. Are those crews still alive? I wonder. I wonder why. I wonder how. I said I wonder how, I wonder why. Whatever. It's raining, man. <laughs> Excuse moi. I didn't mean to uh, make your ears bleed. At least not like that. Let's see if we can move these corners up. I don't want to like move everything up there because it's much harder to avoid, I don't know, artillery or bombers than it is with this town. Not gonna lie, both of these times got really lucky with the map because it's a very good map for us. I mean airborne in general, but like it's Soviet airborne is just so much more comfy as well. It's gonna be hard for you to top twelve days of war game. Uh never again. Ah, uh, you're dead. So are you I gotta be careful, there's a tour in there. I'll rip my... Yeah. Careful, PD! And I told you there's a tour in there. Why didn't you... Why, 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 are you, why are you not careful, man? Old game commandos. Heard of it? Never played it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it was hit 24k, buddy. Watch it melt. Oh! 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 I lost line of sight because of it. No! Now that's a lucky hel helicopter. Let's, let's actually retreat with those, with those VDV. I don't want to lose them. Get the Eggless squad in there. Okay, damn, I re I'm really fortifying this, huh? You know what? Let's see if we can unload you in there. You're spotted. Oh, yeah, probably from what's vet got a drop there, right? I heard this started to but honestly, I don't play a whole lot of RTSs, be it multiplayer or single player. The only other one that I really play consistently, or like somewhat consistently, is a Total War Warhammer. And even that is like a mix of turn based and, you know, real time, right? Sometimes people think, like, I'm, I might, I must be really into RTSs. Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> I do, I do love me some Heroes of Might and Magic, specifically 3, uh, though, man, that's a good game. Uh, 
It's like the goat of games. Summon the electric counts. Honestly, not I. I'm gonna say it. Empire is boring. Yeah, I said it. Give me Lizardmen or give me Dark Elves. All day of the week. Every day of the week. All day, every day. That's that's the one. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm well aware that Home 3 is still alive. This is a... What's his name? Voodoo? It's a Russian streamer. Uh, I tune in every now and then. I don't understand Chuck shit, but my man's getting like 8,000, 9,000 views with Heroes 3. And he's not the only one who does well, right? That 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 game is still alive and kicking, and still like getting some very high quality mods, right? That you might that really look like actual um, vanilla content. It's it's crazy and it's amazing. You're an RTS god. Yeah, Voodoo is funny. I don't understand shit, but he's just funny. Ah, Comedy Furious, you, you lost me there. Played a bit of Comedy Furious 1. Hated it. I, I I hated it. I did not like the mechanics of that at all. I mean, maybe, you know, if I give it a try again now, oh, maybe Comedy Furious 2 or 3. Maybe I'd enjoy it, but... Eh. He got most popularity from poker? Interesting. I've seen him stream poker every now and then, but I didn't know that that's where his popularity came from. But yeah, if you if you see someone he stream Heroes 3, uh, majority, uh, vast majority of the time, they're, uh, they're uh, from a Slavic country. With the exception of like, well, not just one guy, but there's one guy, uh, I think his name is what, Mikik? Uh, an American guy, or Canadian I think, who I also watch every now and then. He makes like, he has some 7 or 8 hour videos on YouTube. Those are just such good, like, second monitor content. I love it. Homeworld played a bit of the first one, just couldn't get into it. I, what I love, though, is Stronghold, or both the original one and Crusader. Original Stronghold had such good vibes, man. Oh. Um, or Battle for Middle-earth, specifically, too. Oof, amazing as well. Oh, you're not in cover. You're dead. Rest has stopped your death with content. <laughs> Nebulous Fleet Command. I heard of it. I heard a like, bunch of like warrior players play it. Like various. Oh my god, I'm just floating. Let's get it, Akula. Anyway, sorry, just had to blow my nose there. All right, those are non Vetka. Also have VDV, presumably, given that they're unhardened. Yep. Gotta be careful with that scratch. It only has 1,000 meter ground range, right? As amazing as it is, gotta be careful sometimes when you go up against genus like this, because you very quickly might go into AT range. Did lose my 24k? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, is it actually a story? I heard a story. I didn't know that it was the Nebulous Fleet Command story. That they that someone hated Naval Wargame and Red Dragon and just made that game. You know what? Good for them. At the end of the day, everything leads back to Wargame. <laughs> Oh no, no seed micro. Здесь 
Сердце хороший разведчик, мертвый разведчик. What is EW Electrical Warfare or what? Oh, uh, is that the Yosa? It is. Kill it! Oh no, splash damage! Oh, oh that hurts, that hurts! Ooh, that splash damage. That's splash damage. Sorry for those noises. That's a lot of scratches on my hand. Reposa. <laughs> Oh, so you can actually spot those? Where's your recon? Oh, there they are. Oh no, so be garbage. Thank you. Oh, so Perry, that's not good. There's crew or something in there. Right, goodbye, crew. And it's GG. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about this. Where did all these points go, man? Like, I got about 800 kills and the game went on for like 15 minutes. You get 1,000 points per 10 minutes. Over 1,000, right? And you start with 1,000. Like, where are all these points? It's like India heavily fortified. I mean, I mean, some of it is expensive, but you would still see that in the points, right? But like, four, core, okay, you got many CVs, yes, sure. But like, oh my, okay, that is very heavily defended, okay. And I can see it now. What? 2 VDV90 Congress M? Question mark? Spetsnaz grew just to defend this. Look how much they spent there. Jesus. I wonder if they ever invest more into this. I mean, I can understand and try to like make something happen with how many points we have there. No artillery ever being used, right? Why not buy Jurgen or something to like stun this thing? Why not smoke this off? I mean. It you're playing against airborne, right? Especially attacking open field with so many angles where helicopters can attack from, right? You have your AA here and then helicopters will f fire this way when you're assaulting up or this way, right? It's, it's not easy at all. But I'm just so surprised at, like, lack of, you know, artillery or something in this case. If you take it slow, might as well buy artillery. Oh, they bought another Sapri squad here? And a BTRT? Jesus, man. Two BRDM2s? I mean, they are cheap, right? But if you spam them, like, one, two, three, four, sixty points worth of BRDM2s here. Another one here, another one there. Like, again, they're good, but 
you also have like VDV, two VDV9 squads here, another one here. They all came in scratches. Spetsnaz crew, Factoria, okay, that's cheap at least. In the BTR 70, which isn't cheap. 16 minutes, and like essentially 900 kills max. Like not even, right? And in 16 minutes, you get something like 1700 points on top of the 1000 points you start with, right? And I mean, I was aggressive ish, right? I didn't need to push. And you see it in my KD, right? I even lost more than I killed, but... Oh, well. Anyway... Oh, it was the same guy. Honestly, I didn't pay attention uh, pay attention to the name. Anyway, that's the stream for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, probably gonna see if I can do some... 10 with 10 content. In any case, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Thanks for uh, new member and the, and the donation, the super chat. Uh, 89 me or then me and Simon K for the support. I appreciate it. So yeah, and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.